Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Truckers of Europe 3 on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Truckers of Europe 3 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Truckers of Europe 3. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, to get started we need to launch our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to see on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because I provided the link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed at this point on our site of Usatility, in which we get an in-depth description on how to download and install Truckers of Europe 3 on laptop or computer. We browse down a bit and mouse click on the Download Game on PC button. Once we click on this link, we reach the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Truckers of Europe 3 on the PC. It is now obvious that we have a great deal of advantages of preferring that emulator. Now we are ready to proceed to download the Truckers of Europe 3 by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It is a file to execute. What we have to do is to launch the executable file, OK, then we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We click yes. I reduce the browser to see the installation software significantly better. The installation software is really easy to understand. It consists of a couple of choices, install and setup path. I will show you what setup path does. We merely simply click on it. And now we observe that we have here the path where the emulator is going to be placed. If we want to change this folder we have got to click on this browse button, therefore we decide on another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we choose. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. Then, I click on back. And therefore I simply click on install. Great, the installation starts and it is going to carry on in the download of those megabytes that are visible on our computer screen. The time you save it on your hard drive, it might possibly be slightly more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate can be at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your type of connection and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator hosting servers. Now they're going really fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been launched successfully. As you will notice, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up then when it reaches the end, the emulator is started for the very first time. The reality is the emulator was already launched, there for the first time. Before we continue, as you understand, it made two software icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is going to be the only one we are concerned about. At any time when we want to launch Truckers of Europe 3 on our desktop or laptop, we double-click that app icon and therefore start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should perform the next step, which is actually a requirement, and this is to access the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will browse here to, System Apps, we click on. And we are going to simply click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is launched. Here we are required to log on. At present as soon as we are on this page, we must definitely perform the next step that is definitely absolutely mandatory. Therefore mouse click on, Sign In. At this point it says, Checking Info. It can once in a while get blocked in, Checking Info, additionally it fails to move forward. In that case, you could try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it may probably be fixed. At this point we will enter our email address and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email and its associated password. For instance you could use the same email you're using currently in your YouTube account. So that I will type in my info and I will go back immediately after I have accomplished it. That's all, details entered. Find out Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We are going to accept them all by just clicking, I agree. After that, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it select it and it will create a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We click on accept. Google Play is started by default and on autopilot. To set up the app game, we have to go to the emulator desktop for Android by simply clicking on the icon indicated green colored. 
Now that we are exploring the desktop of the Android emulator, we notice that we now have here the install game button. We then click on that button. Right here we get the game. Let's simply click now on the install choice that I'm highlighting now in green color. Therefore it will begin the installation. Straight away it is going to download and install the game, it can take quite some time or perhaps it could be almost immediate. It again all varies on our connection to the web. This has just ended setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by clicking that option that I'm presenting in green, to be able to launch Truckers of Europe free for the very first time. We are now on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are preparing to simply click on this new Truckers of Europe free software icon which was provided. That video game is launched for the first time. So there we get it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the volume of that emulator. It's right here, we have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this way we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we will switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. That is the first one, we mouse click on this particular software icon that I am actually designating in green color. Then the screen is maximized, having one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Supposing that we really want to launch the game using all the screen, we press on this particular icon. And we'd already be experiencing and enjoying the Android game in 100% screen setting. To exit the full screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And therefore we would likely already play in regular display screen setting. At this moment I am starting to clarify you the keyboard mapping and that is definitely rather enjoyable. This way we will probably be ready to operate the game app more effortlessly. The first task is to click on this application icon. And right now there you will be able to make the recommended controls. I'll go ahead and leave the default settings, however if you choose to change this, you may well do this without having problem. Obviously, the emulator is totally in our language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is started in the wrong language, for example, in Mandarin. Then to set it in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. So here within many other controls, we mouse click on the language drop down. We can decide on the language we need, German, Japanese, and so on. Once the language is determined, we would save, the emulator will reboot, and also the game, next time we use it, would of course be in the picked language. At this time, there's another detail that we have to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Gmail telling you that a different electronic device has been connected with our own Google account. It will likely ask us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. That's right, we may not get worried, simply because the emulator is acting as an Android tablet or smartphone. And then to discover which device is currently being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. And so we go here to the, model, option. And now we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for the video user demo. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, especially that you thought it was informative. In that case, give it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and any remarks, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment field down below. You could even comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams ever so often, you get it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of the videos which are usually appearing on the suggestion of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming training videos. Bye.